Hi guys, welcome to part three of the Camaro build. There's a the Corvette, there's a the BMW. Um, today's clip and mostly of this video, it's gonna be all electrical system. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm really just gonna throw on a time lapse. But before I go ahead and do that, I'm just gonna show you guys kind of like what um, pretty much what I'm doing. All I'm doing is let me show you. Let me turn the camera around. So all I'm doing is this guy looks like he connected these wires again. So he pretty much just followed the color combo and just spliced them in. But I don't like I don't like this. I have a whole setup right here. Let me show you guys what I'm using just so for reference at home. This is not necessary, but it's just a, a helping hand. It's just little clips you can see right here it's little clips and a magnifying glass this is a wire stripper i have some cut cutters i have all this insulation uh heat shrink a soldering iron and cloth tape so that's kind of gonna be my tools of the trade i guess you could say for this but what is that blue wire interesting so i just keep finding things that i don't know We'll, we'll, we'll figure out what that is later but yeah so this is kind of like the my little workstation so i got my little table right there with the stuff i need the wires and i'm gonna go ahead and set up a time lapse so you guys can see my progress So I'm gonna take a little break. I did uh, quite a few wires. Uh, I still have quite a few left. So it's coming along. It's definitely not gonna be a one, two, three kind of thing, but it's coming along. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go take a break and have a cup of coffee and I'll be back with more time lapses for you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another day and another clip. And this one, I got a lot of good stuff that came in. Here, let me show you. All right. So, I got a crash bar. Yes, it's used, but it's, it looks like it's okay. Uh, I got this, the rest of this stuff is all brand new. So I got a radiator support. And I got the whole upper, upper, um, Whatever it's called, like the headlight grill, the radiator support, that whole the whole section goes that goes here. So that came in the mail. Now I'm still waiting for the fender apron and all that stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing everything and just do a little time lapse of me mocking it up. I'm not gonna go ahead and bolt any of this stuff out now. I'm gonna wait for everything to come in, set it aside, finish your electrical, and then go ahead. But this is just a little test fit let's just say to see how much work i have in the future all right so i already mocked this up and you could tell that that front is fine and this so this is off let's see if you can tell by the holes so this frame rail needs to come back let me go get my tape measure Tape measure, tape measure, not, not tape measure, oh, my ruler. Oh, right there. So this needs to come back about, let's say half center. A little bit over a quarter of an inch. How many mils, let's see. Yeah, about 10 mils. Yeah. So it's not that bad. Uh, so 
So I'm thinking I gotta get this wheel off. Once this wheel is off and removed, I'm thinking of jamming a piece of wood right there in that corner and pulling against it so it pinches like it moves this way because if i put a piece of, if i just pull here i don't know what the weakest point is going to be that's going to bend from and i want it to bend from back there because it looks like all the stuff down there besides being dirty is pretty 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 okay yeah it doesn't seem too bad so I'd rather, I'd rather bend this from there than from the front. And what I could always do is I could always take a toe strap, I have a heavy duty toe strap, and run one piece there, one piece there, and pull in the middle so it kind of like, so we'll see, we'll see. But this gives me an idea of how tweaked it is. I highly doubt this got moved. This looks a lot straighter than this. I'm thinking he hit the pole corner and then it's ricocheted in because that looks that looks like damage or right there that this damage might have been from the wheel right there so yeah it looks like the wheel might have just pushed all that in in that's what this damage is from here you see a little pinch right there yeah, this is actually good news. This is good news. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on the wiring as much as I wanna go ahead and work on the frame. That's for later. Let me not jump from project to project. All right, so you guys saw that um, I got a good amount of work done, but it's about to rain. This is gonna be a long process, so I'm literally just gonna be adding clips here and there and just talking about what I did. I'm not really gonna film all this because this is maybe taken me an hour to do. This is probably another hour. Well, they're bigger wires, so it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of snap my fingers and hopefully it all goes away. All right, sorry for the crappy transition. <laughs> I tried to get fancy, but it didn't work. Uh, so I stayed up last night and I did most of the, like, not most, but a good chunk. I finished just this whole thing. I did this right here, these two. And all I have left is this. But pretty much what you guys saw in the time lapse, what I've been doing is I've been inspecting all this these connects. These are crappy connections. I don't like how these look because when you bundle them up, they don't look pretty. Even these don't look pretty because they're swollen. But i just been cutting this if possible. If I can't, I have to leave it or I extend the wire. But what I've been doing, I've just been cutting these twisting the wires together, putting some solder on them, and then heat shrinking them, wrapping them in electrical tape, and then wrapping them in this cloth tape, just to make it look prettier. This is fire resistant, tear resistant, and all that fancy stuff. But yeah, so that's kind of like the process I've been going with. So now I'm just gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna finish this off camera. I don't wanna bore you guys with, you know, 30 minutes of me cutting wires. So I'm just gonna finish this off camera and then go ahead and move on to the next thing. And just like that, the wiring harness is done. Yeah, you see these, I didn't cover them up yet, 
because I know this one goes down to the bottom right there and these are all the same so they might one to three one no they're three so I kind of like unplug them and I forgot where two of these go they're just sensors I know that they, they go somewhere here but um yeah I kind of forgot to mark them that's my bad and um, I'm gonna have to, I, luckily I found the service manual for the Camaro so I just gotta find out which wire goes to where and it's not that's not a big deal so that's why I didn't tape up any of these because these guys get routed to their proper spot and then I'm gonna go ahead and mask them off these three I didn't mask off because this is done by factory this is color coordinated to each of the bracket so I don't want to I don't want to mess with that and that's fine if it looks like that this I color I uh, uh, did the same thing electrical tape and then, then the cloth tape same thing with the bottom and the top so it's pretty much it's all done so it, it took me a little bit um, I spent a few hours off camera just came in here because I don't know why it looks the lighting looks weird and the airplanes and all the birds but um, it took me a few hours off camera to get all the electrical done. But I'm gonna show you guys my quick setup before I end this video, just so whoever's dealing with similar issue could do exactly what I did and not have problems in the future. So let me turn this camera around and show you guys. All right, so this is my little stand, right? I didn't really need to have a use of this, so you can get it if you want. It's just pretty much a wire holder, a magnifying glass, so you can solder easier. But I just got a regular cheap solder gun from Amazon. I got this years ago and it works. Just make sure you don't put that anywhere that it can melt or burn anything because it does get very hot. This is the cloth tape I bought. There's no marking. It's just heat proof cloth tape on Amazon. I bought a pack of sh uh, heat shrink. Any wire stripper will do, but I got this one. Then Here's the, the solder I'm using. And then a lighter just to melt the, the heat shrink. And then see, this is kind of like what I'm talking about. The back for the ECU, it's color coordinated. So I didn't want to mix up and, you know, accidentally put the one, wrong one in the wrong spot or whatever. So that's the reason I just left those exposed like that. Yeah, if you guys have any questions on... Um, anything to do with electrical work or any of the wires that you might need help diagnosing or finding let me know because i have the service manual so i could you know look it up for you guys real quick and then you know email you or or put in the next video of what color to what wire and all that all that craziness but if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up it's a little shorter than the other formats because i'm gonna try and focus kind of like problem by problem so this was electrical next one's gonna be interior then frame and then so on and so on but yeah if you guys enjoy it please give me a thumbs up it really helps and uh you know keeps the morale up when i gotta deal with wires for like seven hours straight but yeah thank you and i'll see you guys in the next one